Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I just have a quick little project share. Um, I decided to alter a pizza box. Um, th that idea was inspired by Nurse Tara quite some time ago and I'm just now getting around to doing it. Um, so I did create it because I am sending somebody uh, some happy mail. So I decided to go ahead and alter one of the pizza boxes that I purchased from Amazon. So let's just dive right in here and I'll show you what I created. So um, the pizza boxes that I am using, mine measure 10 and a half by 10 and a half. And um, it's about almost two inches um, thick. My box is really full. That's why <laughs> I'm trying to hang on to it. But I did use some of that beautiful rainbows and unicorn paper that you can pick up at Joann's. And I first, I well, I layered two pieces of the collection paper on top of each other. Um, then, of course, I did attach one of my braided rainbows onto the top. Um, I just tacked it down a little bit in like three little spots. So this can absolutely be removed. You can see I can stick my finger under there. So um, when the recipient gets it, they can take that off and hang it on their wall or do whatever they want to with it. Um, so I definitely want to, didn't want to adhere it permanently to the box. Um, then I took some star dies that I picked up from AliExpress. And this is a um, one of the cut aparts that's in the collection. And what I did was I just went around the edges of it with some glossy accent and then sprinkled some glitter on there, um, which I did the same thing with the clouds down here at the bottom and the unicorn that's on top. I did the same exact thing. Then I just put a, some of the stars, but in a smaller size in a couple different places on the box. And then I also put some random gems on there as well, um, just in different places. So that's how the lid turns out. And um, even though it's not completely flat, these are the faux leather bows that are from um, the faux leather that you can pick up from Hobby Lobby. So it'll be just fine because I'm going to wrap it up in, you know, the brown packaging paper and a ship it to her like that. I did go ahead and do the sides as well. And I'm sorry, I'm pretty close to the camera. Let me see if I can scooch back a little bit. So I did paper all of the sides on the outside. I did not do the inner sides because I'm thinking it probably would get torn up along the way. And then there's the other side. Then let me show you what I did on the inside. So I did also decorate um, the inside of the box with another piece from the collection. This beautiful die cut was gifted to me by Erica, who scrapped Diva 29 in the last swap that we did. And I glittered that as well with some glossy accents and some glitter. And then this is a piece from out of the collection that I fussy cut out and just created a couple of banners. And I did put a couple of iridescent pearls on there in various places as well uh, for the inside cover. And now I'm gonna show you what I put on the inside. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I did create a pizza box. Um, and then what I did was I die cut out a heart. And then I did um, use a couple of my uh, crepe paper rosettes. So I did a round one and a heart shaped one. I did put a little bit of glossy accents on there. And then I used some of that chunky glitter that you can get in those little bottles that I've been showing all the time. I just used some of the iridescent one and just kind of sprinkled it on there and let that dry. This is also some faux leather from Hobby Lobby. And I cut out a double bow and put some tails on there and put that in the center. Um, and then on the inside of the pizza box, I did make her one of the mini uh, braided rainbows. And she, you know, of course can use that however she would like to. So that's what's in the first box. Um, and then you guys, um, if you follow me, you saw that I was making a whole bunch of Rolodex cards. So I am going to go ahead and gift her this one with the pineapples on it. I did put a really cute bag topper on the top of there using that same paper collection, which I think is on trend too, if I'm not uh, mistaken. And I uh, made, and I used this uh, heart shaped uh, bag topper from AliExpress. And I hope I'm in focus. Hold on. I hope I am. And then there's the back of it. I did an envelope and then I just stuffed one of those uh, clear laminated hearts in there. So that is for her as well. 
Um, I did also create a, this is a no sew plushie. So this cute little die set was gifted to me by Erica uh, Scrap Diva 29 again uh, in the swap that we did. And what I did was I die cut out all of the pieces. I did go ahead and I, I actually hot glued everything and I put a little bit of batting in there. I just did a running stitch around the side just for the effect of it. It was completely unnecessary. I just wanted it to look like it was stitched. Um, on the picture on Pinterest where I got the inspiration from, they did like the loop stitch all the way around, which I could have done it that way. And I, and I may make some that way as well. But for this one, I did not. It's basically a no sew um, other than the running stitch that I did around the edge. So I'm putting that in there for her. Oh, and for the eyes, I just used some uh, flat back gems that I had and then I just cut out some round little circles for the cheeks and then I did put a little bit of um, stickles on one of the stars that's on the top all right and then um, I did include one of my um, laminated envelopes and I put some goodies on the inside so I'm not gonna open it up um, so I just added a snap button and then I put a cute little flower on the corner there and I just put some goodies in there for her to open up. Then I also shared some of my cute little uh, yarn hats that I was showing not too long ago. And I just put in a couple of those for her to play around with and do whatever she'd like. And I put this one in there as well, the little pink one with the avocado. Why do I feel like I'm not in focus? I hope that I am. All right, and then I also included this cute little um, gift box. This box comes from AliExpress. I did get this cute little uh, piece right here that's on the top with the flower from Anna in our last swap. And then I just die cut out another uh, scallop circle and then I added one of my foiled, um, or I'm sorry, not foil. This is that uh, glimmer spray. I can't even think of the name of it. And I ran it through my mink and I added some foil to it. Um, and then I just added it to this package and I did put a few little goodies in there, which I'm not going to show on camera. I'm going to allow her to open it up, but I was able to fit that in there. This is such a good idea. You do have to put flatter things in here, but this is a great idea if you have like flat embellishments or flat little goodies and this fit in here, no problem. And then here's the card that I'm going to be giving to her. Um, I made this a while back. It's um, a card that I made. It was inspired by um, Frank Garcia because he makes the most beautiful cards. So I wanted to uh, try my hand at making one of these and I created this one. Um, I haven't signed the card yet because I, I wanted to do the video first, but I'll be uh, sharing that with her as well. And then here's the bottom of the box. I just put one more sheet of paper at the bottom from that same Rainbows and Unicorns collection. So I really hope that she likes it. And this was fun to do this. This is such a good idea and a great way to send somebody some goodies. So I'm glad that I finally got around to giving this a try. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. You have a great uh, rest of your weekend and I'll talk to you guys very soon. I'm gonna do one more video today, so I'll be back. Bye.